Hi guys, this is a brief tutorial on how to update your Samsung Note 10.1, the first edition. Okay, and um, specifically it's going to be for the model numbers GTN 8000, GTN 8010, and GTN 8013. Okay, I personally I have uh, the 8013, well my husband and my daughter do. I've already um, rooted and updated my husband's, now I'm going to do my daughter's. So basically what you want to do, if we're going to start at the very beginning, would be you need to download um, Samsung Keys, okay? If you've never done this, it's fairly simple. You're just going to scroll down, and actually I'll put all the links up for you so you know where to go. And you're just going to click download, hit install, follow all the instructions, install it on your computer, connect your tablet, make sure that it's recognized and uh, everything like that, okay? So um, this is probably what you'll need if you don't have Android 4.3 or later. If you still have the, um, like in our case, we have the Android 4. Okay, so if you don't know what model you have, you can go to your settings, about device, and it'll have the model number right there, okay? We have this one, so basically I've already downloaded that, but you would click and download whichever is uh, specific to your machine, okay? Uh, once you do that, what I did is I made a, uh, a folder, okay, and then I put it in there, and then I extracted this, okay. If you don't know how to extract, all you do is right-click and hit extract, okay. Now, you click um, here, and then this is Odin. Uh, this is what you need, what will communicate between your tablet and uh, the computer, okay. So, basically, you're going to click this and start it up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You'll learn from my mistake. You're going to right-click this, and you're going to run as, as, as administrator. Excuse me. Okay, so you see how it's blue? That means it's loaded. Make sure repartition and flash lock are not checked, that nothing's checked except auto reboot and F reset time. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your machine. And let me turn on my camera here real quick. One second. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold the power button and the volume down. Okay, now just to double check, you're going to, okay, this is your volume down. Okay, so hold your power and hold your volume down. And just keep holding those two until the screen is um, going to go black. And you're going to hear that. And then all of a sudden, you're going to see this. Okay, this is what you should see now. Now to continue, you're going to go volume up. Uh, I'm sorry, yes, volume up to continue. Okay, you'll see this. It says downloading, do not turn off target. And as you can see, it says added, removed. You're going to go to PDA. Okay, and you're going to load uh, this right here. You see the file that is in the, um, the CD? Okay, when you go there, the only file that you can actually use is it's got to end, end in md5 in order for Odin to see it. You hit open. Okay. Now you see it's going to load. It says, okay, checking. It leaves CS. And you're going to hit start. Okay. Now it's, it's up. Okay. It says, okay, reset. And now it's turning back on. So you can disconnect. Disconnect this. And your tablet now has a root. So that means that you can, um, n you know, you, now you can add custom ROMs and so forth, okay? So that's done. Mm -mm, one second. Okay, you'll know that you have roots if you see a new app uh, that says SU. Let me show it to you one second. Okay, so when you go to your apps, you should see a new app that... I don't think you can see it, but right there, see it says SU, and it's like a little S with a pound. That shows that you have root now, okay? So that's what you're looking for right there. Okay, so once you have root, now what you want to do, you're going to close this, Odin, and you're going to close this. You're going to go back to um, your original folder, and you're going to go download another file. Okay, and let me show you what which will be here, which is the clockwork mod. Okay, so um, I will, like I said, put the links down at the bottom. Okay, so um, 
you'll scroll down and then you can use touch or no no touch okay so uh, here's for the n8 thousand 80 10 80 13 80 20 so what I did is I didn't want touch so I just clicked this link and downloaded the files okay so back here there's the clockwork mod and so basically it's the same thing you're gonna right click it extract it once the files are extract you're gonna use um, let me show you the file okay so this is the file that you're gonna add with Odin however the way you're gonna do it is uh, go back here if you if you um, Go back to the original thread where we had the root, and you'll notice that he gives you a file that uh, Odin version 3, version 1.85 right here. This is the one that you use now. The first Odin was just for the root. Now you download this. So you click this and you download it, which I've already done that, which is right here. I'm going to extract it. Okay, extract. And then once that's been extracted, it's going to open up, and this is the one you're going to use. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to right-click, run as administrator, click yes. Now, and then um, you'll connect your tablet back, okay, because we had disconnected it. Okay, now it's connected again. You'll hear it, and then you'll see here, okay, it turned yellow. Um, and what you're going to do now, let me close this, is you're going to, um, remember you're going to go back to the clockwork mod, and then that's what you're going to add. So here in the, um, you make sure the repartition and flash lock are not checked. Auto reboot is fine. You're going to go to the PDA, click that. Okay. And you'll find, look for the, um, the file. Okay, let me where I saved it. I, I made a folder for it, okay, in the downloads. Um, and where did I put it? Okay, Samsung root. Okay, so here's clockwork mod. Click that. I already opened it up. Okay, this is ends in .md5. Hit open. Okay, I'm sorry. Click it and hit open. Okay, now it's going to load. Now we're going to do the same thing, which is which is going to be to hold down the power button at the same time as your volume down. Okay, so here we go. Hold the power and hold the volume down. Hold them at the same time. And then it'll power off. Keep holding them until you see this. Then you'll go up and it says downloading do not turn off target once you see this then you know that you're going to uh, hit start okay now we're gonna hit start we're gonna wait it's gonna turn green it's gonna say reset pass and it's good to go so now you have clockwork mod on there okay which is great so you can close this your tablet is rebooting now Okay, so now, now the hard part is pretty much done. You have root, you have clockwork mod, you're good to go. So the next thing you have to do is you're going to go to the thread, which I will put the link at the bottom. Now this is the Ganabo ROM. This is probably what everybody's like, yeah, we already know how to do the first parts. But anyways, I didn't. I had to learn. So just for the people that have to learn. Okay, now what you do, now that you have root and you have your Ganabo ROM, you're going to scroll down and um, it gives you some information, tells you uh, how to install it. If you have the N8000, okay, you're going to download the ROM Super SU and Bootloader. You're going to put them in your SD card, do a full wipe, flash the ROM. Simple, okay? If you have the N8013, or which what I have, or 8010, you're going to download this stuff. So as you scroll down, you will see the links. Okay, they're big, so um, save them, save them all, and so basically this is what you're going to do, right? Okay, we're going to go back, okay, um, to my folder that I made. Okay, so here I put all the files for Ganabo ROM. So what we need, we need um, all these, okay, we need six of them. So what you'll do is you'll get your um, 
the next, open up another file, okay, pull it up, um, and you're going to PC, and you will um, find your folder, which uh, w once that it's turned on and it's loaded, so then you'll come here. I'm going to put it on the external card, okay? So all you basically you're going to do is, uh, you can do however you want, but what I did is I just grabbed this, and I'm going to drag it over, okay? Just drag it over, copy it to the root of storage, and wait for it all to copy over, okay? So once everything's copied over, then what you're going to do, um, just check it, okay? And all the files are there, and just go back now, okay? So the next step is going to be back on your tablet. Well, what I'm going to do for my daughters right now, I'm going to pause it, and then I'm going to make a backup. I'm going to use Titanium Backup, and I'm going to back up all her apps. So um, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to show you basically what, um, how you're going to install everything on Clockwork Mod, okay? So you're going to hold the power button, and then you're going to hold the up. Instead of the down volume, you're going to hold the up volume, okay? So let me show you how that looks, okay? You just, uh, okay, we have to make sure that it's on. Okay, it's on. You're going to click the volume and the power up at the same time and just hold them hold them okay and you'll hear that and you just keep holding it and it's this is going to take you into the recovery okay so we kept holding it and we're holding it just to be sure it's going to come up and then uh, let it go Okay, and now we're going to be going into the recovery. So just be patient. And there it is. That's your Clockwork Mod. Okay, so it tells you Clockwork Mod Recovery, warning, no file context, don't worry about that. And you're going to scroll, you're going to volume up and down to scroll, so you'll go down. Uh, I'm going to back up her, back up, um, the previous, you know, the ROM that's on there, just so I can make sure. But you, I recommend you do that also, and then I'm going to do that and back up like I didn't back up her apps. And then I'm going to install the zips. Before you install the zips, you're going to um, scroll down till you see wipe data, factory reset. Um, you'll do that. You'll scroll down. After you finish that, you'll do wipe cache partition. Once you do all that, you'll go to install the zips, okay? You'll click uh, install zips, hit OK, scroll down to where you saved it. I saved mine to zip from external 